The first thing I want to talk about is glance mode. So let's say you're reading something and you want to quickly switch over to another window. It could be WhatsApp or it could be pretty much anything else. Using your S Pen and a simple hover, you could do that. And then you point your S Pen out and you're back on the previous app. It's really as simple as a hover. It takes over your screen and once you're done, just take the S Pen off. Now to do that, use your S Pen, open the command menu and then tap on glance. It'll just minimize that app and you can call it whenever you want. The next one is called Pixby Vision. So let's say you're reading something and you find something interesting that you want to share or you want to know more about. Open the command menu and then tap Bixby Vision. Hover your S Pen on whatever is of interest to you. If it's text, it will allow you to extract all the text from that image, which you could export, translate, copy, or you could share it. If it's an image, even better, just hover on it, tap the image icon, and it'll look up online and give you results that match that image. So if you don't know what it is or you want to know more about that particular thing, it allows you to do that. So let's just try, try it out with this typewriter and you'd see that, okay, that Jeep is a little mismatch, but you can see why it picked it up. But yeah, most of the results are of the typewriter, vintage typewriters. And guys, before we move on to the second one, it'll be great if you could support my channel by liking this video and subscribing to my channel and hit that bell icon so you never miss a video from me. Next is two settings under call. So you could go into menu when you're on your dialer and then hit speed dial settings. The Note 9 allows you to set up 999 speed dials. I know that sort of defeats the purpose because who could remember all of that, but it's there for you. So let's say I've assigned two and three to test. So whenever I type two and then press call, it would call that person. The next, depending upon the country that you're in and whether it allows you to record calls or not, you could go under settings and then hit record calls. Now, when you do that, it lets you do three things. You could set auto record and then within auto record, you could set whether you want to record all calls that come in and go out or from all unsaved numbers or from pre-selected phone numbers, you know? So for example, I have a lot of calls with clients and I almost never want to miss those conversations. So I record them. The next one is Dolby Atmos. And I think this is an extremely underplayed feature of the Note 9. But the Atmos mode is a game changer, especially when I'm watching content over, you know, Netflix or YouTube. The music mode and the voice mode may not be as obvious and as significant, but the movie mode is mind blowing. There is just no way that I can describe how significantly better it is to watch any movie on Netflix using Dolby Atmos. Okay, the next one I wanna talk about is that there is an inbuilt dark mode in the Galaxy Note 9. So all your apps are usually white, but you could turn them into dark mode almost instantly without doing pretty much anything else. So whether it's your phone dialer, whether it's your email or anything. And it's so much easier on the eyes, especially when it's dark uh, around you. To enable this, just go into settings and then hit accessibility. Within accessibility, you will see direct access. Make sure that it's turned on and then go ahead and enable negative colors only. Now, negative colors will not work very well when there are images in front of you because images will just look as, you know, negative images do, and that's not good. So just make sure that you're using the dark mode just so that you could read more easily and conveniently and not for image-based applications. And to exit, just hit the volume up and power key again. And also ensure that you switch your edge lighting back on because that will turn off. And the last one, you can use your Galaxy Note 9 to connect to two Bluetooth speakers at the same time and play the same music track on both. So you just get more volume and almost like a surround sound effect. And of course, this works only with Bluetooth. So, you know, just connect or pair the speakers the way you would generally. You could also install the Sound Assistant app from the Play Store. It just gives you a lot more to play around with. So you could set up, you know, home, work and sleep based profiles. Um, you could also have individual app volumes set up. So, you know, if you want YouTube to play at a certain level always when you turn it on, you could do that. You could go into control audio settings and there you have dual app as well as separate app sound uh, control. So you can have your phone speaker play something else and the actual speaker play something else. And you could then go into advanced settings that just gives you a little bit more intricate control over volume and playback settings. So feel free to explore this. So guys, those were seven things that I thought most Galaxy Note 9 users do not know about. And I think 
just having known these things, it really makes you a pro user. Thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe.